Welcome to lesson six in this series of lessons to accompany the textbook How to Program Effectively in Delphi for ASA Level Computer Science. Lesson six is going to consider how to write class references in Delphi. Class references which will be assigned control classes such as T-Button, T-Edit, T-Label in order to create controls at runtime. I've created a VCL uh, application and added four buttons to the form, changed their names, button show count of calls, controls created, create button, create edit, create label, and I've added two track bars from the Win32 uh, palette, track bar one, track bar two. I've changed the captions on the buttons as shown, and I have changed track bar 2 so its orientation is vertical, track bar 1 by default is horizontal, and then I set the maximum value to be 600 for track bar 1 and the minimum 195. and I've set its selected start to be 195. Track bar 2 I set the minimum value to be 24 and the maximum to be 260. And I set um, the initial position to be 24. And the selected start to be 0. Right, so we have a class definition, T form 1, and it has button, create button, create edit, create label, and a button click event handler. And I've declared a local variable class reference of type T control class, a new control local variable type t control name for the control uh, string i've set the class reference to be t button create takes a parameter uh, which is of type t form 1 so self is actually referencing uh, form 1 this version of uh, create requires specification of an owner and the owner will be form 1. The owner is responsible for deallocating the memory allocated to the uh, new control. To make the new control visible on form 1 we need to assign self to parent i.e. form 1 to the parent field of the new control. We need to position the new control, so we set its left property to the value in track bar one dot position, and we set its top property to the value in the track bar two position, and then we increment the control count b variable. 
the control count variables are declared at the beginning of the implementation section um, and initialized to zero. We need to define a name for the new control so we take the class reference T button um, class reference dot class name gives us T button and the control count will give us an integer number that we convert to string and then we add that to the class name so first time round it'd be T button one and then we have to remove the T from T button one using uh, the uh, delete procedure and then we can assign the name for control button one to the name property of the new control and then we can call test test is a procedure that actually calls a class method increment count of controls which is declared in the class definition as class procedure increment count of controls using the class keyword to define it as a class method which can be used without an object reference. This is a little bit of a, a bit contrived this example because we could have incremented the uh, count for the number of controls directly without relying on a class method but we want to illustrate um, a, a, a class method in this example so that's why we've done it this way. Okay um, we do something similar to create um, an edit component so we have a class reference which is assigned to tedit we uh, create the um, object and uh, we make its owner self and self is form one and to make it visible uh, we assign form one to the parent property of this new control we set its position um, with uh, a new control dot left new control top using the trackbar position and we create a name for it similar to the way that we created the name for the button component and we increment the count of controls uh, so we're calling the class method uh, directly here just to illustrate that it can be done without relying on test and we have something similar to create a label class reference T control class new control type T control um, and this time we're using the class method to increment the count of controls signing T label to the class reference creating a control class reference dot create uh, making its owner form one and setting its parent to be form one so it becomes visible on the form setting its position according to the track bar position uh, track bar one position track bar two position incrementing the control count for labels which is initialized to zero at the beginning of the implementation section constructing the name for the component from the class reference class name the control count uh, L value deleting the T and then assigning it to the property name uh, for the name control. So we're collecting a count of all the controls uh, that will appear on the form plus f f the number for each uh, of the different th uh, three types T button, T edit, T label. If we compile and run the program, and then we use the track bar to position where we want the first control, well, we'll accept the default positions, create a button, and we get button one, we move the position horizontally, and we get button two, move the position horizontally, and we get button three. 
we go back to beginning and click uh, T edit move the um, vertical position and we get edit 1 edit 2 and now we're going to move the vertical position or uh, get an interim count which is 5 so that's 1 2 3 4 5 and then we'll create a label and another label and another label and another label another one another one and now we'll see how many uh, controls we've got one uh, three five six seven eight nine ten eleven so we've used a class method um, to count the number of controls that we've added to the form and this is the using class reference uh, project main source Next we're going to drill down into where T object is uh, defined or declared um, and we need to explicitly reference the unit system so that we can do control enter to open it up and then we're going to do control F to get up the search box and um, we'll type in T object um, we'll find that the, f that the first time that it appears it's defined as a class and the reason why there's no end is because this is a forward reference so that we can use it uh, to define T class uh, which is equal to class of T object um, but it still needs to be properly um, defined so we're going to move forwards of this T class definition until we find the T object equals class terminated by end and we can see the public methods and we can see that it has a, um, a constructor create and uh, object method free which we've um, actually used to uh, deallocate object space in memory and it has several class functions and one of which uh, sorry um, uh, methods which are functions one of which instance size we've already used in a previous um, lesson we can um, obtain the method address the method name by using the class functions given there and we've now come to the end of lesson 6 which has covered class references which may be assigned uh, control classes such as tbutton, tedit, tlabel thanks for listening